And yes, here we are once again. You thought I forgot, but no. I'm going to finish this series. It's been a while though, but let's get right to it. As you can tell, this obviously isn't the Milky Way. This is the Andromeda Galaxy. Now I want to mention I accidentally called the Sun a K4 star when really it's a G2V yellow dwarf. I don't know why I thought it was something else but that was just a mistake in my other video. Alright, let's Let's see if we can find a planet with life here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. A binary system. This is our first Oceana with life. Now, at first, I really didn't want to do any ocean planets because they usually don't have any landforms and they're not too special, but I figured we could do at least one episode about one. And this one looks like it's tidally locked to um, the red dwarf over there which means that the half of it is frozen over into like a permanent arctic wasteland which I'm sure probably has some great views so let's go explore here we're on the surface in the arctic wasteland there's really not much special here but um, this planet is about 254 Kelvin, which is pretty cold. Actually, very cold. So, um, it wouldn't be too fun to live here. You can see the red dwarf there being extremely bright. Here we're traveling along the coastline where the water meets the frozen side. And you can see a faint nebula there in the sky. Now you might notice how there's very many stars visible in the sky. And this is probably partly because of the atmospheric pressure being so low. The atmosphere is very, very thin. And you'll be able to see a lot more stars in the sky. Here we can see the side that is facing the red dwarf most of the time. Um, there appears to be a very giant cyclone, some sort of tropical storm um, on that side. Due to um, not much rotation of the planet. Here we have a nice shot of the Triangulum Galaxy in the background as we can observe the cycle of this planet. And that should be about it for this episode. We'll, um, see what other strange planets we can encounter and that's all for this time <laughs>